Blake, is that you? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Well, Blake, you are the very first guest of the. Let me get. Let me make sure I get this right. Bottom of the Smash Mountain podcast. <laughs> a great name see i thought it would be great and i'll have already explained this because this is the pilot episode but it's just me i'm not even like a scrub i'm like whatever's below that just a a a page uh um what's another kind of like middle ages term it's not it's not just page it's like squire right um um I think page is below squire. Let's go with that then. I'm just a page, literal page in the grand scheme of all things competitive Smash, but I don't just do Smash content. That's my main focus, but you know, I'll do other stuff too. So, all right. All I'm right. not bring, I'm not bringing you on for Smash unless you want to talk Smash. Okay. Well, what are we talking about? Really, I wanted to just go in whatever direction you felt like since you're the guest of honor and I don't want to put you on the spot for anything you don't want to talk about. So if you're feeling comfortable with talking about what we do when we get together, we play Smash Remix, the Smash 64 mod. You comfortable talking about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so before we continue, do you want to go by... Something besides Blake. My tag, if you will, is Cypher. So do you want to have the people call you something else other than Blake? Or you just want to do Jesse and Blake and we can just... No, I'm good with Blake. All right, cool. So Blake and I play Super Smash Bros. 64. And we have played that for a very long time. But nowadays we're on a big Smash Remix kick. We play on the console. We have the EverDrive. We have all that good stuff. And it's super fun. I am better than Blake, but Blake By is a wide margin is improving. I have to say that ever so slowly. You are improving ever so quickly. Well, well, let's say I'm I'm steadily getting better. Yes, and I think that the important thing to note here is that we don't play separately. Like I don't have my own console at home to practice on or computer to play on like an emulator. We play like maybe once a week at the most and we'll play for maybe about an hour. If that we'll get 20 matches in 20 matches. I I was going to say 15 because think about it. It's about 20. Okay. Well, 20 hey that's great on a that's good better. Day, yeah that's awesome i mean it depends on whether or not we play on the bigger maps for sure yes what would you say your like your favorite anecdote type thing like when i ask you like what's a fun thing you really like about playing with me or just playing the smash game itself or any of the other versions of you know because there's melee and brawl and ultimate of course as well like is there something that comes to mind when you think about playing the game or one of the games okay so for all smash games that's a big question i mean smash has kind of you know casually been part of my life for as long as i can remember you know i'm not a i'm not a a a dedicated player you know i'm not i'm still casual but you know, we've had the games for, you know, as long as I can remember. Um, I guess uh, I, I have so many memories to choose from growing up. I mean, uh, playing on the 64 and messing around with that, having my mind blown by unlocking Ness and Luigi and what? Captain Falcon and Jigglypuff and you know remembering all the wacky fan theories like 
how you can unlock Zero Suit Samus in Smash 64, which you can't, but, you know, we thought you could actually do it. I love those GameSpot articles uh, where you had to do this, that, and the other to unlock Zero Suit Samus, or there was Sonic. I think I remember reading a GameSpot thing being like, this is what you do on the unlock Sonic. You're going to need the, <laughs> you're going to need the shark codes. And I'm like, what's a shark? What does that have to do with the game? What? But I was like, I got to figure this out. Uh, but of course, not true. <laughs> Alas, no. <laughs> and then of course, you know, going to a cousin's house because they had the GameCube and jamming out on Melee, having a great time. Then we finally got the GameCube and, that was awesome. We'd mess around with the camera and try and make machinimas and, you know, fail, but it's okay. Yeah, I don't think we even got to, like, a decent prototype. We just were trying to come up with different stories and seeing if we could, like, make different scenes happen. But I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if we got much farther than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we actually got to the recording part. <laughs> we had some great scenes plotted out though oh speaking of machinimas that too was a big part of my childhood my word what it's it? it's, a, it's partially my fault because i did find them and then i was like blake you gotta see this they're making movies and by movies we mean like you know six and a half minute episodes very of, long super long no of the of melee or brawl those were the two big ones. And I was like, this is so cool. This is better than anime. This is better than this is better than any this movie except Keaton Star Hill. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember the names of the guy. I remember Last Tier War, which I really enjoyed. Um I can't the big Super what Deuter was Man. The, what was the big one? Um Smash Tasm by Shepage. That's it. That's the one. That's the classic. I love that series, although most of it is gone. I don't know. What? Okay, we haven't talked Whoa. about this, but it, they're very hard to find on YouTube. No. I think there's only a few episodes there now because I don't know if you remember this, but the creator of that show, he signed a contract with... There was this YouTube channel that kind of was snapping up all these content creators they didn't even call them content creators at the time it was just like you know people making youtube stuff mm -hmm. but it was a big network of content creators making different kinds of stuff anyway i can't remember the name but they shut down and they removed most of the content from their from most for like from the whole youtube page that they had okay. up there okay well where, are we, so, where do you where can you find it now I have no clue. I haven't tried to find it. I'm going to look into probably that. Probably a year. I'm going to look okay, into that. Okay, you do yeah. that. You do that. What was the other one? Um, I, I can't remember the name of it, but it was the the uh, main character. It was it was it was from Brawl. The main character was Bowser that had a had his white and gold skin. Yes, Smash King. And yeah, they got really into like actually editing the. 3D models, so it made them look like they were talking at some points. Yes, it started to feel like real cinematic history happening. No, it wasn't. Okay, so when I go back and watch them, it wasn't quite on that level, but they're still good. Smash King, that's a good Machinima series, and that's still up on YouTube, thankfully. Was that ever finished? He's still working oh, on it. Mark. As far as I'm aware, the most recent upload was a was a month or two ago. Oh, wow. So I I I have watched the newer episodes, but honestly, I watch them at bedtime and I'll be honest, I do fall asleep occasionally at different times it, watching different content. It happens. It happens. I was falling asleep Just, watching some Naruto episodes sometimes. It happens. Uh, well, when you have like about 700 too many episodes of a show, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> There's a lot of filler. I know I made somebody mad. I know you're like low key mad. I'm not you, mad. I'm not, you understand. I mean, I understand. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad about it. I'm not salty because I understand. 
you don't get to 720 episodes without, you know, like 300 of those episodes being straight filler. It happens. I would be interested to see somebody actually go for it. But yeah, that's just part of the biz. Like, I would never understand. Should I make a filler podcast episode? Okay, anyway, (laughs) we've been on the phone for 10 minutes now recording this interview or your portion of the podcast, The Blake Show, which I appreciate. But we should wrap it up. And we've gone through a lot of tangents. But just to bring it back to playing through all the Smash games, do you feel like you know what your favorite one to play is? Oh, wow. Okay, I know what my least favorite to play is, and that's Smash 4. I'm sorry, I don't like Smash 4. Ooh. I just I don't. It's a game so bad they didn't even give it a name, all right? Oh, dang. Listen, it's not, it's not as enjoyable as the other ones. There. Um, well, when it's, when it's the follow-up to Brawl, and, you know, you can say what you want about Brawl, but it's so much fun to play. Yes. Like I would, I I wouldn't want to play it competitively, but it's so much fun. It's a great party. The subspace emissary and the four player battles. Yeah. Do you remember that if you got hit and you're flying across the screen and you fly through somebody, they actually get hit too. In brawl. That's that. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That checks out. That stopped after that. Like in Smash Four, you would just fly through people, and it doesn't. It just it's just a little thing mm. and it annoys me that they stopped that after Brawl mm. moving forward into Smash Four. But there there are a million things wrong with Smash Four in my opinion, but I guess it yeah. I, it's it's uh, I, they put Mewtwo back in. That was hype. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as far as favorites go, I, I don't know. It's a it's a toss up between uh well, but I can't choose between the remaining ones. I mean, they're all they're all good for their own reasons. Ultimate has got its own thing going on. Brawl's got its own thing going on. Like they're all so, it's the same general concept, but they all take it in such a unique direction. And I appreciate that because when the game is directed by the same person, and we're talking about Masahiro Sakurai, you would think that each game would only differ from me from the other slightly but they do have their own identities for the most part yeah yeah no i mean they they each feel very different so that's okay that you can't pick favorite if you ask me the same question i don't know if i'd be able to give you a good answer it probably it varies from moment to moment (laughs) so no worries i appreciate you coming on to the pod, to the, let me make sure I get this right, Bottom of the Smash Mountain Podcast. Great name. Great name. I looked up acronyms of MSM, or no, BSM, excuse me, Business Service Management, I think was the first acronym that popped up. So I was like, okay, BSM doesn't stand for anything super horrible. Yeah, yeah. I'll just say this now. The Pat McAfee show is PMS. <laughs> and... Nobody nobody says anything about that because <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to get in trouble for being like, duh. But <laughs> uh, I wanted to pick something that when you look it up on the internet, you don't go, I don't want to be associated with that. <laughs> <laughs> so not to pat myself too hard on the back, but uh, yeah, some patting and on the backing is definitely happening happening right now. I'll just say thank you for coming on to the pod, Blake. And I hope to have you hope to have you on another time. Yeah. I would love to. No pressure. Yeah. 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 It's been fun. Awesome. We'll let you go. You have a good rest of your evening, sir. Thank you for coming on. Wait, did we say we're related? We are brothers. We're brothers. Yes. Yeah. Cause that was oof. We probably missed a lot. You'll have to come on. We'll do it again. Mm, mm. Sounds good. All right. Now leave the thing. Actually, no, I can just press finish recording. I'm going to do that.